Let's talk in the kitchen now with Michelle Dudash. We're talking oh, dry sun. January, perhaps. <laughs> Using the slanted cocktail glass. Uh. With the, you got the good ice, though. <laughs> For a month when yeah. we're not going to go sideways. That's right. It is all about the ice, by the way. Yeah. It, a, lot it? the, uh, a lot of it's the ice. But, oh, isn't, isn't ice is funny? important. Ice this can is make a big difference. Mm -hmm. Crushed ice is what I like to use. Yeah, that so dry sense. January, this is a movement. It started in the UK, but now it has gone worldwide. Millions of people are doing it. So whether you're looking to cut back on alcohol yeah. or go completely booze free mm -hmm. for January, I have some recipes and tips here. Nice. Perfect. So, yeah, the first um, recipe we have this is my citrus smash palm tail. So mm. this, and these are, by the way, the drinks that I make for myself at home. Yeah. When I'm, you know, I enjoy my wine. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes you have those early wake-up calls. You just want to cut back. And mm -hmm. I feel like the older I get, the more groggy I get from just one glass of yeah. wine. I don't well, know about you. Well, and, and here's the, the thing. Day, right? I know we talk about, you know, water, water, water. But uh -huh. after a while, you just need something with a little flavor. But maybe you don't want all the sugar. Mm -hmm. Right. So this would be a good alternative, yeah. too. Yeah, this drink has no added sugar, as a matter of fact. So what I have here... What I add is I have some orange, some lemon, and some lime. As you know, I like to muddle. Mm -hmm. So we just smash this all together. We're releasing the natural juices and the flavors from the skin yeah. as well. Then we add in our crushed ice. I just love the crushed ice for pretty much all the drinks that mm -hmm. I make. Mm -hmm. And then I add I'm a in. Too, so it, yeah. Which is not good for me. Yeah. I add in, this is Palm Wonderful 100% pomegranate juice, mm -hmm. and I work with them, and I love it because, I love using it in recipes, no added sugar, yeah. every 8 ounce serving has the juice from two whole pomegranates, they press, really good. taste delicious, mm -hmm. you're getting antioxidants, vitamin C, no fillers, no preservatives, yeah. and um, yeah, all those anti antioxidants that's, from the skin, mm -hmm. the pith, the arrows. Yeah. That's one ingredient, boom, yeah. pomegranate juice. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then this is sparkling water. Now, and that gives it that, you know, the lightness, the, the fizz, the bubbly. Mm -hmm. And that's what the, you know, big thing is finding a drink that works for your craving. Right. Because, mm -hmm. you know, water or maybe, you know, just whatever, your, your basic drinks. Yeah, yeah, you need something else. So if you're fit, craving fizzy and cold, yeah. this is a delicious that's drink. That's good. And it's pretty. And it's beautiful. It's really pretty. Yes. You could also, you know, you can warm up pomegranate juice and add a cinnamon stick or some oh, spices. Oh, okay. That's like another that great drink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you want a hot drink, another hot drink option, this is my simple hot cocoa. I just make this in the microwave. So it's just a few okay. ingredients. We have some cocoa powder mm -hmm. that's unsweetened. This has two, this is about two tablespoons. We add in some milk. Now, I'm using almond milk. Of course, you could use cashew milk. You could use cow's milk. Yeah. Those are the three I would say stick with because those are the creamier ones. I just love this little tool. My, the, my, my <laughs> yeah, fancy so fine dining whisk from back in the day. Yeah, so use your, or you could use a fork. I've used, <laughs> if I can't find my use what you've adorable got. whisk, yeah. I use a fork. Yes, yeah, so I was impressed that you used using the, the wooden spoon and you didn't have a designated <laughs> muddle wand or baton or whatever they call it. My muddler actually has gone missing. My I don't know what oh. Somebody took my muddler. Uh, is that honey? Someone absconded honey. with your muddler? <laughs> I literally turned my eyes How dare down. they? How dare they? <laughs> I'll just have to go buy a new one. Oh, so sad. <laughs> um, an excuse to go shopping. And an excuse to go shopping. You can put a little cinnamon there. Oh, I, like I that put idea. in, yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. I could get, you know, warming. I put in about a tablespoon of honey. Okay. I don't think you need more than that unless you really want it sweeter. You could even lighten it up. This is vanilla extract, just like a tiny little zhuzh there. You don't want to overpower that. Uh -huh. And then that's your delicious hot cocoa. So I will, and I like to have this huge mug. I think it just makes it oh, yeah. feel so warm welcoming. Break and, and if it's miserable, love, yes. especially, you want to, yeah. Yeah, so get a nice little little hot cocoa. It just reminds me, isn't it funny how a, particu a particular type of ice can make a difference in what you're serving it in, yes. the type of cup or glass you use. Yeah. An, just an oversized does. sweater and a fire. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Your some Michael, cozy some socks. Michael Buble. I don't know. That's right. Uh, now yeah. when it comes to like, yeah, the cup, I think that is important. If you're yeah, going to make a I cup so of tea, too. get your Get yeah. those wedding registry teacups <laughs> out from 20 years ago. Yes. Preheat your cup. This is what I do. I'll preheat the saucer oh, in the toaster oven. Really? That is, huh. yeah, that is the proper way. And then you could even serve it with, the, I love these. These are uh, little biscuits. They're oh, the whole, digestives? Yeah, I they're just, they again, something to elevate your little beverage yeah. with mm -hmm. so you're not missing Make it an that. event. Yeah, make it an event. <laughs> 
And then another idea I have for you is kombucha. kombucha. I know we've, there's, we have uh, different uh, kombucha brands out there. Mm -hmm. Now, and what I like about kombucha, again, this has the effervescence, the bubbly. So I like to just experiment with different flavors. This is a ginger aid flavor. Of course, we have some local mm -hmm. yeah. brands available as well. You and I, I would say too, Michelle, if you love the taste of soda, maybe you're trying to cut back on that soda slash pop, uh -huh. however you say it. This would be a good alternative too, because maybe yeah. you want that fizz, you need that bubbly, and that's what keeps you coming back to it. Absolutely, yeah. And if you're looking for another sparkling water uh, brand, there's, there's one that I recently discovered called Spindrift, and okay. it has uh, there's a little juice in it, just a little bit, so maybe like 10 percent. So it's then that's, that's what I use in this grapefruit yeah. drink, by the way. So yeah, that's just yeah, mix things up, add new flavors. Yeah. There you go. If I get my ice and I get my carbonation, yeah. and it's in the right vessel, I'm there. You're set. Yeah, you're perfect. Good. Awesome. Dishwithdoodash.com. Thank you, Michelle. Thanks. Hey, eventually, yeah, we might get some of that snow yeah, and ice happening. we were talking about. And when we do, you're going to be ready with removal advice from this guy. He's an expert, and that is here when Andy Style returns.